Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Marilyn. I am uh, doing today this layout with the March limited edition kit by my credit scrapbook. I select this paper, look how beautiful, I love that it has this uh, mixed media background but look the back or the front, it is gorgeous. I love this side but for an album or something like that, it is gorgeous. Uh, I, it was hard but I decided this one. Um, because I love the bag too. Anyway, let me show you the photo. It's from Unsplash. And I love this photo, the feeling. And let me show you uh, the mats that I'm going to do, or oh, to use. And this is from one of the paper. Let me show you this, from this. I got it um, from one of these uh, paper from the collection. It is, let me explain, this is the 49th and Market Countryside Collection that is featuring this month in the kit in my creative scrapbook. And you can find this kit in my creative scrapbook.com. I'm going to let you the link in the description box down below. I made marks with pencil in the area that I'm going to place this later because I want to use today this stamp from Finavera Prima Marketing that comes in the kit. I'm going to use also the embossed with me uh, watermark stamp pad by Dress My Craft and I am planning to stamp and use uh, this time embossing powder. So I'm going to apply or to stamp in the area that I want these textures on the background. I think I love the sugars, the, this stamp, and I think it will bring uh, interest on the background. I am stamping with the um, uh, watermark stamp that it is like a adhesive. Uh, once you stamp, you can add the embossing powder. I'm using this brand from Dress My Crab. It's really good and the color is black so i am I put the powder here and i'm going to move it and put it back the rest in the jar and you can see here and i have a lot of dust on the background but i'm going to clean this i'm using this brush by fina bear and i am removing a little and make the borders of this stamp irregular you can see here i am carefully uh, making it looks more irregular. I don't want that they look like a square. <clears throat> and I'm going to uh, clean the background with the same brush as you see. You can let it and uh, the dust if you like because it will uh, it will melt and it will give you these textures on the background. But I'm trying that to enhance or to highlight more the background. I am continuing stamping in the area that I want to add this texture and I'm going to repeat the same steps again. I am checking here and put the rest in the jar and with the brush I'm going to clean the background here and make it look a little irregular. Not too much here because I'm going to cover this area with the papers. And I'm going to continue uh, with the same steps in the area that I want to add texture. And then clean it again with the brush. I love this stamp and the look that it brings to the background. Now I'm going to uh, <clears throat> melt this embossing powder using my heat tool. And you can see here, let me show you how it looks now. It has like a little satin finish. Okay, once it's done, I'm going, I put a uh, cardboard behind each of these pieces and I'm going to uh, adhere them here to the background paper. And I'm going to attach now the photo to the black mat. And I'm not going at this moment attach the black to the yellow because I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to do uh, yet. I cut out this, uh, look, this roster from this paper. I had all this roster. And I'm going to add a little of adhesive just to secure this. And put it here in the corner of the mat. And now I will start uh, to make my clo uh, embellishment cluster in this uh, side of the paper. I cut a, a lot of the images 
uh, from this paper like this uh, leaf that I am folding by half and inking all the edges of all these elements that I'm going to adhere here. Look at this. This is gorgeous. I love it. It comes in the laser sheets you can see here and I select this one. I am inking the borders just to give uh, a cohesive look with the details of uh, the black details uh, on the stamp but just for that you can ink it in the color that you prefer i uh, select the blacks for this reason i am going to start to adhere some of the pieces usually i put all the pieces and show you how they will look and then off camera i adhere everything but because i'm going to create uh, a few layers here is easy for me to start to adhere some of them. I already adhered the photo, the black uh, matte to the yellow. And now I, that I know where the uh, photo will be, because I want to put some of the leaves over the, the photo to create that they are close to the bush of flowers or something like that. I am now, uh, I proceed now to uh, put the rest of the embellishment. I adore <laughs> the some flowers. They look so real. And all these flowers are from paper. I am doing this layout only with all the paper flowers that comes in the kit. You will see in my oh, next uh, video uh, uh, that I use the rest of the flowers from the uh, package uh, that comes in the kit now here i am showing you uh these tags that comes i think is from the ephemera package uh, i think uh, 49 of marker uh, has a uh, different names for the ephemera i think i think that it's uh i don't have the package right now but it's a different they don't call it ephemera they call uh, die cuts of pieces something like that anyway i am put a black cord in two of the tags the two that goes uh in the corners i put it in the red and in the yellow the green i didn't put the cord because it will be in the centers and to uh avoid that they look too bulky and I'm going to put this in the corner here. I also uh, add these doilies that I cut from one of my dies and put it here. The die is from Dress My Craft. And I add the flowers. The, I love the title that it is from the Fimera 2. And now I'm going to uh, fold and give a little of dimension to all the paper flowers and put it here in different layers. As you notice, I put the doily behind the yellow, the, the, between the black and the yellow mat, and then I put the leaves. I, off camera, I adhere all these elements, and I'm going to show you how they look now. You can see here all the uh, dimension that it creates. And I, you can see here, I am planning to add color and to give a little depth around the, the text, but I want to work in this corner here. So I'm going to repeat the same again. I'm going to move fast. This step board is the same. I think that it needs something in this corner to create a balance between the opposite side of the page. So I am using the embossing powder with the uh, watermark stamp again. And I add uh, just a little here to give this cohesive uh, to the rest of the page. And with the brush now, I am eliminate and make it look uh, irregular uh, with embossing powder. Now with this trail, I am uh, putting the embossing powder inside the jar. And I'm going now to melt the embossing powder with the heat tool. Okay, now everything is dry and I take these tickets from the uh, laser sheets I love that this uh, t ticket uh, has uh, chicks chickens and it looks adorable now I'm using different uh, other tickets from the collection and I am creating layer here with this this is the piece of the doily that I cut um, and I'm adhered here I think just to give the touch of white in this corner 
I use a little of a hesse just to maintain the pieces in in place and now we I'm going to use the stopper and it is ready just to give another uh, look to this side okay it is ready now I want to add color and I'm using now here let me show you the uh, Faber Castell um, artist pen the big brush and I'm using now this red color it is this deep scarlet red and I just add a little of here and I am blending this with a brush with water then I'm using the other color that I'm using is the dark chrome yellow and I'm using now the Prima water uh, brush but I prefer to use this this other that is a little rough and blend better on the paper the colors uh, I try at the beginning if you notice with my finger but I it works in that way if you, you apply like a gel medium on the paper on the background and then you use this brush uh, this um, pen brush and it will works great but I didn't so I need to use uh, this brush now I give a little of corner color here to the top uh, corner and I did the same uh, step now I'm going to add the butterflies here here and once I put the butterfly other thing that I did that is uh, uh, I couldn't uh, record it is that I add some sequins and some pearls and cover my photo and now I am uh, giving splatters white paint splatters over all these I love this technique and it is soft a little the color I think it looks so pretty in person it's hard to see and the photos uh, doesn't make uh, justice how it looks but once I apply the white splatter now I give the black splatter but just a tiny just to make a balance between the stamp and the black you know it needs a black accent and I think that these tiny splatters looks great on the surf on the background okay let me remove the photo and let me show you and this is the ink that I use and you can see here my friends how it look let me know if you like it bring me a big thumbs up or a like and share this video look it is colorful very different I you always use the soft color what is your favorite bright color or soft color and here is the the different uh, close-up details I will let all these photos in my social media and I let you like as I told you the links in the description box down below well my friend let me show you more videos here that I hope that you find more inspiration don't forget to like this video share this video and I see you soon with a new video tutorial nos vemos bye bye